Dennis Eagle are proud to present the HS Speedliner, side-loading, demountable refuse collection system. The Speedliner is manufactured by Hufferman Schurling, a sister company to Dennis Eagle within the Ross Rocker group of companies. This is the most advanced engineered side-loading and body interchangeable system available today. Over the next five years, local authority services are to have a significant reduction in funding. And to make savings, there will have to be a reduction in operating costs or a reduction in service levels. The side-loading demount body system makes saving a reality and allows service levels to become unaffected whilst large savings are achieved. The system has the ability to demount a body when full and to replace it in situ with an empty body. The body when full and demounted becomes a sealed container which can be stored until ready to be transported to tip, allowing for maximum vehicle utilisation of space and carrying capacity. The system allows two bodies at a time to be transported to any disposal site by means of a hook lift truck and trailer, thus reducing travel time and cost. The system demonstrates a 30% reduction in revenue cost associated with frontline resources and a reduction in health and safety incidents by up to 50%. This is the future of waste collecting systems. Here the vehicle is shown without a body on the chassis cab. The collecting arm, packing mechanism and demount body can be mounted onto any commercial chassis cab, but it's best mounted onto a 6x2 rear steer configuration, which allows for maximum manoeuvrability of the vehicle. The system shown here is mounted on a Volvo FM chassis. The inside of the cab shows a left-hand drive which is recommended for use with this system within the UK as it allows the driver to have a good view of the side loading arm and allows for a greater degree of accuracy in placing the vehicle into the correct loading position. The side lift arm is controlled by a small joystick shown here to the right hand side of the steering wheel. Also shown are the cameras that allow the operator to view the arm when in motion and waste being emptied into the hopper. As is being demonstrated here, the standard lifting arm can collect two bins with one 9 second lifting cycle. Once the chassis cab has received the standard mandatory daily check, the body can be loaded onto the chassis. The loading of a body is a simple, quick and easy operation that is best carried out on level ground with a firm surface. The body is attached to the lifting mechanism, in this case a belt operating system. The hydraulic winch on the vehicle lifts the body onto the chassis. The body is firmly locked into its secure loading position by means of body clamps and locking arms. The quick and easy loading and unloading of the body enables travelling times to be reduced for collection vehicles as body changeovers can be achieved in locations that are conveniently close to loading areas. The opening into the body that allows the waste to be compacted is guarded by an automated guillotine blade activated during the loading unloading program. The blade prevents anything from either entering or leaving the body, thus the body becomes a storage container in which waste can be effectively stored until disposal to a licensed site. Here we see the vehicle entering a medium density housing area. In high density areas where a large number of lifting operations are carried out, operators can work in pairs to help reduce operator fatigue in the use of the side loading arm, which requires high levels of concentration. The second operator working in front of the vehicle takes care of assisted collections and places the wheel bins into pairs or moves them to the correct place for collection. As can be seen from the counter and the clock, the system can achieve very high loading rates especially where bins are correctly placed in pairs. In this instance, 23 bins in four and a half minutes. The system is extremely versatile and the reach of the sidearm allows for bins to be lifted from between parked cars or other similar obstructions. The second operator has little manual handling to take care of, a fact that is reflected in a drop of over 50% in safety accidents by users of the system. There is no work being carried out at the rear of the vehicle and the second operator is always in sight of the driver during loading operations, making the system extremely safe for use. Here we see the vehicle collecting in a rural location. Where significantly fewer lifts are to be carried out over long distances of travelling, this system allows for a single operator to safely and effectively make collections. The householder has only to place the bin in the correct location for the operator to be able to collect the bin without leaving the cab of the vehicle. There are times when bins are placed in the incorrect place or facing the wrong way for collection, but due to a left-hand drive configuration, the operator can safely leave the cab 
Without having to face oncoming traffic or contend with packing systems or cars driving towards the rear of the vehicle. With a 9 second lift cycle, a highly manoeuvrable chassis cab, a versatile lifting arm capable of up to 2.6 meter reach and a sideways adjustment of 100 millimeters, even in rural locations the system has proved itself to be highly effective and efficient. Here we see a unit with its body fully loaded. The body is dismounted, ready for collection by a hook lift truck system. The body locks and the guillotine blade are automatically released from inside the cab, but the body's dismount system is controlled externally from the vehicle by use of a remote control. When the body is on the floor, the operator manually releases the belt system, ready to lift another body into place and immediately recommence collections. The full body is then ready for collection by a hook lift truck. Here the truck collects a body and places it onto the hook lift unit. A second body has already been loaded by the hook lift onto the drawbar trailer. The trailer is then coupled with the hook lift and the two bodies are taken to the disposal site for emptying. Transporting two full bodies to the tip site produces large savings in fuel and manpower when transporting waste or recyclables. It also allows for more productive time to be available for the collection of waste. Landfill sites have historically been responsible for large amounts of damage to collection vehicles. The use of a hook lift truck and trailer removes this possible chance of damage to the speed liner. The key issue is uh, operational flexibility. We no longer have to have the collection vehicles driving long distances to disposal or uh, transfer facilities. We can keep those vehicles working while the tugs uh, take the full containers backwards and forwards. Um, that also means that we can work the hours we want to work, rather than being dictated by the opening and closing times of the disposal or transfer facilities. We've reduced our mileage overall, um, we've reduced therefore our carbon footprint, we've reduced the number of people we employ because we've gone from a crew of three to a crew of two. In terms of safety we've seen a significant improvement. We have uh, trips and slips down nearly 70%, musculoskeletal injuries down nearly 30%. And also an important aspect for us in a semi-rural area is we no longer have crew working in the vicinity of the vehicle, particularly at the back of the vehicle on rural trunk roads um, where we've had some near misses in the past. There are things that we will improve uh, I think the system gives us the opportunity to make those improvements, um, but overall it has delivered everything we wanted it to deliver and, and I'm very, very, very pleased with it. This totally engineered side-loading body demount collection system reduces operating numbers by up to 30%, reduces miles travel to tip sites by up to 30%, reduces the risk of accidents by up to 50%, reduces carbon footprint, eliminates collection vehicle damage on landfill, increases productivity, increases vehicle utilisation, all vehicles can achieve 95%, increases public participation and customer care, and increases operator skill levels. There are currently 200 operators of the system in Europe. Such is the belief in the system that Dennis Eagle are willing to provide free of any charge an initial overview to determine potential cost savings to any collection agency. For further information, please contact Dennis Eagle on 01926 458 500 or www.dennis-eagle.co.uk.